Um, I think uh, we all acknowledge that what's happened um, in the global uh, setting is that you know human beings are actually humankind are actually facing the greatest challenge of climate change. Whereas all of us are in the boat together to try to you know fight for the find fight for a good solution for survival of humankind, right? So I think in the upcoming general election in Malaysia, we want a government essentially will be able to scientifically, technically, as well as morally capable of building a resilient policy across our you know, diverse community, like what has been addressed by the previous speakers in terms of gender, nationality, ethnicity, religion, age, um, ability, as well as location. So we, we, we want to call for all the Malaysian to support political candidates and parties that are able to put forward an executable vision with an equitable programmatic election manifesto. We believe that political leaders of tomorrow need to acknowledge and understand the strength of decentralization at the macro level of policy making and be inclusive in designing programmatic objectives at micro level actions you know, to redress particularly persistent inequality in our society, particularly among the least privileged community. So we we actually want to call for all the contending politicians to commit to eliminating all forms of discrimination and exploitation. In Gerak, for instance, we have been consistent in our reform proposal of higher education institution in Malaysia at crucial questions such as you know equal opportunity and access to all stages of education, with the aim of you know um, replacing the monolithic ethnic criteria with a, you know, with the fairer measures. So Gura actually proposed that you know, university and higher education admissions uh, be based on merit along with an affirmative preference given to students from disadvantaged and special needs backgrounds. So we believe the enrollment of university students should be reflect the diversity of Malaysian society in terms of class, gender, ability, ethnicity, religion, and location. That to make sure the survival of humankind as well as Malaysian in this bigger global challenge. So more than this, really, is about you know people have suffered drastically from the COVID nineteen pandemic, like what Anne has also mentioned about you know a lot of students essentially suffer from do not even you know have the basic uh, devices to attend classes online. So what is urgently required now for us is for the contending politician and parties to discard the harmful ethno-religious politics and prioritize people's needs in the coming election. So we believe a genuinely open, diverse, and inclusive political approach will provide the basis for prosperity combined with justice. Yeah, that's all from me.